by Phil McNulty Chief Football Writer Share this with media playback is not supported on this device Arsene Wenger was not in the mood to turn the start of his Arsenal farewell into a big event, which was just as well given the mood of apathy that hung over the Emirates Stadium like a dense fog. The most significant decision in Arsenal's recent history had been announced two days before this game against West Ham. The departure of a manager whose personality has shaped the club for nearly 22 years. Arsenal, eventually, kept their part of the bargain as two goals inside the last 10 minutes saw off West Ham to give Winger a 4 1 victory he will savor. And yet, for most of the afternoon, there was little evidence that a seismic event had taken place, either visibly or in the mood around the arena. It was only when Winger himself took center stage after the game that the scale of what had happened to Arsenal in the past 48 hours, and indeed to the 68 year old Frenchman, came into focus. Wenger's program notes were bookended by a brief explanation that he felt it was the right time to step down at the end of the season and a vote of thanks to Arsenal's players, directors and supporters. It set the tone. Business as usual. The show must go on. If that was what Wenger wanted, that was what Wenger got, for the first 80 minutes at least. It was unsatisfactory. Average. Arsenal's fans demanded better only to be left disappointed until a final flourish that brought three goals amid a West Ham collapse. There was an expectation that this day might be the start of a period of celebration of Wenger before the departure of the man who brought three Premier League titles and seven FA Cups to Arsenal, winning the double twice. Instead, Wenger's arrival in his technical area was greeted with a polite rather than ecstatic standing ovation. A few more phone cameras than usual pointed in his direction but nothing in the way of fan for dot around Emirates Stadium where Winger has provided the sound footballing foundations, banners charted the cosmopolitan nature of the club he has presided over. Signs from Australia, Hungary, Hong Kong, Slovenia, Brazil, Malta, China and the United States all represented the great occasions Wenger has inspired, such as Old Trafford 02, which refers to when Silvan Wiltord's winner gave Arsenal the Premier League and FA Cup double again. Nothing celebrated the man himself, apart from some banners and placards assembled by supporters. But this all seemed part of a conscious effort to say that Arsenal life goes on until Wenger's final Emirates farewell against Burnley on 6 May. As Wenger took his place, the symbols of Arsenal's current malaise were all around him in the shape of empty seats, as well as a team sheet that suggested his chosen successor inherits a squad in urgent need of renewal. The first chance of only one Arsene Wenger came after two minutes, but it was a full hour before Arsenal fans gave full vent in support of their manager. Media playback is not supported on this device, it was perhaps only to be expected given the disunity among Arsenal fans, which Wenger clearly feels has so damaged his latter months at the club, but it still left a distinctly downbeat stench to the day and the feeling he perhaps deserved a little more of a thank you than this. And then Wenger spoke publicly for the first time since he announced he was stepping down, measured but emotional. Humorous but still not entirely dispelling the notion that he has been left hurt by the way this is all ending. Wenger has listened to and appreciated the eulogies and praise of the past 48 hours like a man present at his own funeral, saying, It is similar because people speak about you and how you were, now I don't need to die anymore. He was determined he would only speak about the circumstances surrounding his departure a bit later in my life, but the emotions were close to the surface and it was clear this is a man justly proud of what he has brought to Arsenal and the legacy he leaves behind. And, through his words and expressions, it is clear that while he may be walking out of his office at Arsenal, it will not be the end of his personal connection with the club. I arrived when I was 46 years old, he said after watching Arsenal's four goals take the tally to 2,289 under his watch, bringing the 705th win in 1,229 games. I have worked seven days a week. Not six. Not six and a half. You cannot just walk away and say bye bye. You can't walk away and nothing happens but I have had other difficulties in my life and I hope I can get through this as well. He cannot foresee working at another English club. Not yet. It is too soon, too raw for that. Dot for now Wenger remains in love with Arsenal and while his complete devotion and immersion in the game means his career is likely to continue. For now he cannot contemplate the idea of being in domestic rivalry to Arsenal. He said, I want to thank everybody who has been so nice to me. I got more praise than I deserved and more criticism than I deserved. In the final moments before he left the media suite at Arsenal, Wenger said, Sport is about winning and losing and you have to accept that you can lose games but it is about something bigger than winning and losing. For me that was always a worry. How the club is perceived worldwide for kids who play in Africa, in China. In America and the dream it can create for young children who want to play football and all of our clubs have a responsibility in that. It is nothing to do with the fans. The fans were not happy. I can understand that, that is my job and I have to live with that, I can accept that.
Wenger was as Wenger has been, not dodging any questions, while hinting the full story of his departure will come out at a later date. Arsenal and the manager, who has become synonymous with its very name, are determined to make this a dignified parting. And the impression remains that this is a departure that is being made with the greatest reluctance. Share this with.